In this tutorial we're going to take our standard border template and we're going to set it up for drawing in inches and architectural. So to begin with I go to the application menu, come down to drawing utilities, from drawing utilities go to units, and the first thing I do is go from decimals to architectural, so it's in architectural units. And architectural units are in inches and um, feet and inches. Okay, so we click on OK and I'll show you how to how it displays as feet and inches in a second. Okay, next what I'm going to do is we're going to change the limits. So I'm going to type in limits and now in the bottom corner you can see down here it says zero feet zero inches so feet is represented by an apostrophe, inches represented by a quote, set of quotes. So lower left hand corner is still going to stay zero zero. Upper left hand corner now is actually only eleven inches by eight and a half but we're going to change that and that's now going to be I don't know thirty feet uh, by 30 feet. So comma 30 feet. Okay. So now when I zoom out you're going to see that there's my border way down there and there's my limits. So really the limits don't matter because you're just using that as something to draw on. Okay. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take our border. We're going to scale our border up. Okay. So proportionately our border is, is um, quite small right now. So we're going to scale it up 12 times. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to type in scale okay, and I'm going to pick a corner and I don't have object snapped on so I'm going to turn it on and it's going to pick the bottom corner and you can see as I do this and I'm going to zoom out now okay, right there's my all my um, border here and you can see it just keeps scaling up here right and there's different scale factor so I'm actually going to scale it up by 12 okay so basically what I'm doing is I'm taking it from one inch to um, one foot Okay, so I do that and you can see it didn't take up the whole page, but now when I go to draw a line, when I start here and I go across, you can see there's three, four, four feet, five feet, six, twelve feet, right? And you can go all the way over to, to like eight feet or so. Okay, so I've just scaled it up so the border is quite large and remember that scale for later on because we're going to need that. Okay, uh, finally what I'm going to do is we're going to change the... Um, the size of the dimensions because right now when I go to annotate and I go dimension and I go linear I'm sorry I actually need something to draw so let's just put a line in there okay, and I'm going to zoom in a tiny bit and I go to, I'll change the layer to uh, dimension line and when I do this under annotate dimension when I pick this line watch how small you can't even see there's the dimension way in there okay and it's also in decimals right now okay so what we're going to do is highlight it under dimensions right here we're going to click standard okay we're going to go to modify from here unit format is going to be changing from decimal to architectural and the other thing is under fit what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale because originally we set it up all perfectly we're going to change the scale to 12 because we scaled everything up by 12 so we're going to scale the dimensions up by 12 so click OK and then close and then when I dimension it now you're going to see that now it's actually in feet. Okay, so there's five foot, ten and a quarter inches. All right, so there's that done. Uh, a couple other things we'll just do really quickly. I'm just going to delete this line. Uh, we'll go back to home. I'm going to change this layer uh, to object lines just so it's done. And the last one is snap and grid. So I'm going to come down here, right mouse click, go settings on this grid. And we're going to change the grid spacing instead of a half an inch, maybe you want one inch. Uh, to start with, maybe we're going to set up six inches. Make sure you're putting the inches in, not a feet in. And snap here as well for right now. Let's just go for six inches as well. Okay, and we got those set up. Click on OK. So what that means is every time I click now, I bump, I'm bumping six inches. You can see it on the screen going three, three foot six, four, four foot six. Okay. And that's basically the setup of our drawing. So what I can do now is, is I can draw whatever I'm going to draw in here, you know, and, and I guess I didn't need my limits this big, but you know, they're, they're there now. It doesn't really matter because what we're going to do is print out here. And just before I finish off on this part of the tutorial is when I go to file and I go to print, okay, is, okay and you don't have to print now, but you just can see this when I pick the right printer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I select my paper size, my extents, my scale is going to be 1 to 12. Okay, and centered and everything, and I apply this just in my case. If I go preview, what's going to happen is I'm still going to get the exact same border on the screen. Okay, except down in here later on, my scale is going to be 1 to 12. For every 1 inch on paper, 
in real life it's going to be 12 inches and we'll talk more about that later on okay and I'll just cancel that so that concludes setting up your border and your drawing space to draw in architectural units and in feet and inches and I'm going to stop there